to get up. How we were first introduced to the beautiful Emily Ratajkowski as she strutted alongside Robin Thicke in the hit Blurred Lines video. Well, Emily now stars alongside Ben Affleck in Gone Girl, a huge movie. But back to the video, you kind of rolled your eyes just a little bit when we played it. Are you oh, no. sort of tired of it? Um, let's just say it was a long day on set, and I hear it. More than you would think. I mean, it's everywhere still. So if you walk um, into a bar, do you ever hear, you're the hottest being? I go, in, I go into the bathroom and I... <laughs> oh, yeah. They must do it to you, too. When you're at a bar and they're like, put it on, put they're it on, on she's right here. There. Oh, I hope not, Jesus. Because <laughs> um, our executive producer, very funny, his kid go to, goes to University of Michigan, and Lourdes, Madonna's daughter, showed up at a frat party, and what did the kids start doing? They put on uh, Like a Virgin, they put on all these different oh, songs. All the good she stuff. was like, come on. But she's did you know, did you know your career was going to take off from this, that this video would become what it is? Yeah, absolutely not. I have to be honest. I had no idea. Um, I just showed up to work like any other day. And then, um, you know, when it came out, I started getting recognized and stuff. And I was like, huh, I think people have seen this. This is so weird. Um, I was on the phone with my mom in New York, and somebody was like, Emily! And I was like, oh, hold on, mom, thinking it was someone I, you know, ran into. They're like, can I get a picture with you? My mom was like, what? You know, she could hear it. Oh. So. And there are other girls in the video, but you became known as the Blurred Lines girl. I mean... Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. They're wonderful ladies. It was really a fun day. What about Robin? How was he on set? There's all the rumors back in the day of him with hands here from being out in the nighttime. Was he a gentleman to work with? Everyone was really professional and polite. What about Pharrell? He's, just great. he's got that aura. He's just, I mean, yeah, but, magic. You know, it was just a lot of fun, which I think comes across in the video. Sure does. Uh, did David Fincher, who directed Gone Girl, did he see you in this video and that's where it began? Is it because um, of the video? You know, I don't know. I can just say that when I auditioned, it was a normal audition. I went into a room, you know, there were like 10 other girls that looked a little bit like me and they were all had their scripts and um, we all just went in and auditioned one at a time and then I got a call, so. Wait, did you have to audition with Ben Affleck? I did the second time. So after I did the normal round, um, I came out to L.A. I thought I was just meeting with David, and I walked into a room, and there's this, like, six-foot-four guy who's kind of grizzly, and I looked at him, and I'm like, okay, hi. Oh, my God, that's Ben Affleck. <laughs> it took me a second to register, and then, you know, I auditioned with them. Your role in Gone Girl. Now, I'm not there yet in the book, so I don't okay. give anything away, but you're Andy. You're the mistress, which you don't like being I called. I girlfriend. Girlfriend, who doesn't know what's really going on. And I hear there's a steamy, steamy scene with you and Ben, and I heard Ben wanted to rehearse it over and over. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you know, the, the whole movie has quite a few steamy scenes. Mine actually seems pretty tame in comparison. Um, so I think viewers will have a lot to, uh, to see. But no. were you nervous? Come on. A, a sex scene with Ben Affleck? Like, were you nervous? Um, you know, everyone was so professional, and David and Ben made me feel so comfortable. And it's, well, I don't want to give anything away, but it's pretty mellow, so I was happy. Do people vacate the room? I understand it's a, a bit of toplessness on both of your parts. Do people vacate the room, and it's just Fincher, Ben, and you? And, and maybe Jennifer Gardner? Guy, or, it is. A <laughs> it's called a closed set, so it's a small group of people. And, um, you know, you're just so focused on getting it done and, you know, doing a good job, whatever that is. Sometimes it's just the acting or, you know, making it believable. And um, so I didn't feel nervous. She's so cute. Look at you. Gone Girl, right? Female lead in We Are Your Friends with Zac Efron. That's coming up. You're in the yeah. Entourage movie so as well. So excited about this one. Yeah. Are we going full film here or are we still modeling? I think doing a little bit of both. But, you know, I really love the acting. It's it's maybe a little bit more creatively fulfilling. I hope I'm not offending anyone by no. saying that. But, um, you know, I really enjoy it. So I just finished the We Are Your Friends thing. Oh, my God. There I am on the carpet. Whoa, I haven't seen any video. Look at that outfit. Yeah. yeah, it's a red dress. Look at all that. We've got tons of magazine covers, too. I mean, you're on Cosmo right yeah, now, Yeah, today you? we announced it. Yeah. Fantastic. How there great it is. this is. Wow. You talk in there shooting this movie in Missouri. You shot at a teeny tiny uh, town, a little bitty... So just you, oh wait, sorry, I just got distracted. There you are. <laughs> yeah, you're missing yeah. all the uh, photos here, Kit, which is unlike you. I'm talking small town Missouri. Wait, is this Sports Illustrated? No, this, this is, is GQ. GQ. Yeah, this is from the summer. Whew. There's a lot and of fun in Hawaii. Where Was it Sports Illustrated? You're considered a rookie? That doesn't look like a rookie right there. No, that like this a... is Sports Illustrated. This was my rookie year. 
So um, it's been a great year. You know, With all that's going on, on, I got you as front runner for front runner. Uh, for cover on the next Come one. On, what do you think? Thanks, guys. Huh? Can Galloway. I call it right now? That would be really, really amazing. That's really sweet of you to say. Back to the article, because I was, of course, admiring the pictures, but you talk about shooting in the small little town in Missouri. What was that like? So it's just you and Ben hanging out at the Hojo? You know, it was the whole crew and cast for several weeks, um, but we were all in the same place, and of course, we didn't have our own cars and stuff, so we ended up carpooling to dinner, and it became sort of like we were all at camp, you know. It was fun. Did everybody hang out together? Did you go and have, uh, could, could Ben cocktail? Because he was Batmaning it. They oh, yeah. getting yeah. a for Batman. I was Batmaning, so he was up every day, you know, at seven. But I said to him, I'm like, you know, come on, you love it. You look great. You're yeah. like solid as a rock. You're, you know, there's worse things. Wouldn't we all like to be, have a studio paid trainer? Working out with us at all, uh, all the time. To what a look beautiful. great, have to, you got to put in the hard work, but that's it's true. Sure. And working nice. on a movie at the same time, I mean, there were a lot of hours being spent. Like, I, you know, I don't think people realize actors work really hard. Of course, it's training and making yourself look good and a lot of other things, but. Uh, are we that. single? Are we dating? What's going on? Because right I now like your life seems crazy. I like to keep that sort of separate, but I must say it is a little bit of a crazy time right now, so it's hard to think about any of that kind of stuff. All right, single. So, yeah. Fabulous. Single. And I'm sure plenty of opportunities. So you will do the selecting. You're lovely, Emily. Thank Good luck you with so everything. Much. Continued success. Thanks Thank you, for Emily. Gone me. Girl is in theaters as we speak right now in the November issue of Cosmopolitan with Emily's on newsstands right now. All right, coming up more for Teresa and Joe, what they told their daughter.